Welcome to general readings for, oh my gosh, we're in June already. Your money readings are going to look like this and your love readings are gonna look like this. And so you can be looking forward to those to come out throughout the month. So let's get started. Pisces. Okay, so you're not giving enough fucks. It's interesting because they're like, usually you care too much. Right now, you care a little too little. Um, and this is like avoidance. You actually need just like a big, huge hug. Your intuition is a little bit off. Um, you're living more in your fear chakra than in your heart chakra. And so things seem unstable. So that's the general theme. Beginning of the month, you're heartbroken, you're disappointed, you're hurt. Middle of the month, things aren't what you want. End of the month, it's like not everybody wants the same thing as you. Maybe your partner didn't want to have a serious committed relationship and get married. Maybe you did or vice versa. Maybe you really wanted to move in one direction and you know you thought that your business was gonna go this way or the company you were working for had this goal in mind and then they just totally changed it around and now you don't agree. But the thing is, is we have to accept that reality instead of just wallowing in it and being afraid that that's always gonna be the case. Just accept it and find something new and different, right? So the best part of the month, even though it doesn't seem really good, right, is that everything balances out. And look here, um, what you wish for, you will get. But like nobody just gets like magical wishes granted for no reason. They have to experience like some shitty stuff too, right? Because the world works on balance. It's a push and a pull. Every pendulum swings from one side to the other. And so this might not be your most magical best month ever, but that doesn't mean that the most magical best month ever isn't coming for you, okay? So um biggest challenge for you is yeah okay life is unfair sometimes like it totally sucks sometimes you're right but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be excited about the future and you should be like right now if things are kind of shitty if things aren't what you expected if they're not working out the way you wanted them to you can be excited that that will change i'm so fucking excited that in the future things are going to be different that things are going to go my way I'm so excited that I'm getting this shitty part of my life over with so that the exciting, wonderful part is going to come. Um, so the guidance for you this month is just like, look, wh what are you really choosing to hold on to here? You know, if, if we want to hold on to our pain, if we want to hold on to our grief, okay, that's fine. That's a choice that we make. But like, how is it fucking helping you? It isn't, okay? So decide what you want to hold on to here. And then they're saying... Um, you know, then express what it is that you need, express what it is that you want, because that's how the universe knows what to give you, you know, when things start to swing in your direction. Love you so much. That was June. If you need assistance with any of these energies, your crystals of the month um, look like this. You can find those in my blog page on the link below. And I love you so much.